today is September 7, 2022. And it's been one year since my friend Jess had passed away on this day. I didn't even know about it a year ago this time. I didn't find out to it on the night because I was trying to reach her on the 5th and the 6th because last year the 6th was on a, on a Labor Day and the day of school started on the 7th last year and I didn't know she had died. I really don't even know all the details because her family, they was quiet about it. They was literally quiet about it. They really they didn't make no posts about it on Facebook. They didn't make no posts about it today on Facebook, only about her older brother. But her older brother, he made a post on Facebook last year after I had found out about she had passed on the 8th. And he didn't even stop by either post it on, on her profile, let all her friends know she died. But he let all his fucking friends know she had died. But today I did a post on, on just Facebook, on Facebook, and I was the only one who did a post. None of her friends didn't do no post. Only person who did a post was her brother on his Facebook page, just letting all his friends know about his sister. But I was the only one. I mean, most of everybody had forgot about it. The guy who hooked me up with Jess named Quentin. I mean, he the one who introduced me to Jess and so hooked me up with her back in 2019. He had forgot today was her death day. I mean, it's like almost everybody, because nobody didn't post nothing. I was the only one who did a post, and after I did that, people, like, I had, so far I had up to four people had, 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 had made like comments to it. It's like almost everybody had forgot she had died. It's like, it's like she forgot about. That's the way how I see it. I mean, it's like she just forgot about. I mean, but my heart ate for her kids because both of them had lost their parents less than a 10 year time span, just like I had lost my parents less than a 10 year time span. So, I mean, Jess is someone who I miss. I mean, I got a tattoo of her on the side of my arm. So, I, will, I, I mean, I would never forget her, but I do gotta move on with my life and I do gotta move forward with my life. But the tattoo of my arm, well, it is a signal, is a, a sin occasion, which I will never forget her. I mean, I will always think about her, but I do have to move on with my life, and I do gotta, gotta do other things in my life. I gotta keep living. I mean, it's sad she didn't live to see 2022, because since she had died, so much things had changed. Because before her death, we didn't have the mayor election. This city had got hit with a mass shooting since she had passed. The war in Eastern Europe, Roe versus Ray, other BS stuff had happened since she had died, since she had passed a year ago. So much. I didn't even find out, but I'll tell you that I didn't I forgot to post on Facebook a shout out to both her friends who posted it. And I think both of them, I know the first one named Melissa, she's a Hispanic girl. I saw her many times like to ride the, the Metro bus. I think the other one named Melissa too. That's what it said. Cause, cause both her friends, cause they were the one who who actually who actually posted it on September 9th, and that's how we found out. One for them, we would have never found out about it. I mean, I probably would have had if I couldn't get a reach to her. I more likely would have contacted Quentin, and he probably would, cause he knew people out there who knew her. He'd probably contacted his people, and somebody would have eventually would have found out probably later on. She had passed away, and and since, and by that time, the funeral and all that would have been done because her family, they had said shit. They was they was trying to hide her death from her friends. The only people who probably knew she had died was the people who she was hanging around with on, on her and her and wherever she was staying at, only on the west side. Cause I was surprised none of them didn't make a post while she died. Cause her family, man, I mean, they literally try to keep it quiet. I contacted the brother last year. I, I, after everybody to find out, so I gave my condolences and I gave him my number. Asked him to call me. I would like to see her. Uh, I would like to attend the memorial. He that motherfucker never called me. So man, thank goodness I, I reached out to God. I was going to contact the mother, and something popped in my head. Said Google her name, and that's when I found it right there. She where, where the funeral and all that was going to be posted at. I mean. 
and thank goodness I did got the chance to see I, I didn't I didn't get the chance to actually see her when I went to the funeral but it was they had a private viewing the day before but it was a closed coffin because that's a Catholic tradition her family is like dedicated Catholic people I kissed the coffin I had to say what I said just sister law her name was Carrie she comforted me that woman have a heart a oh God, that woman is a nice woman, just sister-in-law. Her other brother, Ryan, her young, I don't know what his name, Ryan, whatever. I can't, I can't pronounce, I know it's not like L-I-M. I know her, her younger brother, man. I mean, he, he accepted my condolences and stuff. He didn't judge me with my relationship with her or nothing. Like the other one, when I, when I shook his hand, man, he gave me a funny look and stuff. Because cause, cause he was there when I had first got, well, he, he was there when I already had first got to the funeral. And, then, and he acted like he didn't like me there. The way how his demeanor was, he never introduced himself to me or nothing. I mean, he was like a son of a bitch towards me. The way how he acted through his body language and stuff. And the way how he acted when I gave my condolences to him. And the mother, she was in shock. I was there, but I said she was an angel and all that. And I left. When the funeral guy left, I left. I mean, Jess was cremated. I mean, for the whole past year, I was looking at Jess' parents, uh, I was looking at Jess' mother Facebook page and Jess' brother Facebook page, the older one, to try to see how they had the update about where her ashes sat or was it in the cemetery or something like that, what happened to her ashes, and they didn't post shit. I mean, I looked at it through a whole fucking year, and they didn't post shit. I don't know what happened to her ashes. I know she was cremated. That's all I know. But I, I always wonder, did she have any bruises on her face? I don't know. The funeral guy said she didn't. The sister-in-law, she said, said he, she didn't. But I can't, I can't prove it because I wasn't there to see her. So, I only knew Jess only for a minute. And... I didn't even know too much about her. I knew a little bit about her here and here. And the last time I saw her was August 6, 2021. And I talked to her on the phone on September 1st, 2021. I did a video about that as well. I mean, been over a year. I hate she gone. I wish she could have been here. But I wish I had guilt in my heart for not appreciating her when she was alive. I wish I should have appreciated her when she was alive. That's something I'm kind of sad about. But I know she will be missed. But I know I gotta move on with my life. The only thing I can say is I'm. I'm I, only I can say is goodbye. It's not a, a forever goodbye. I might see you again somewhere in the cosmos, somewhere in time. But I know I gotta say a final goodbye. Cause I do gotta move on with my life. And I wanna say it was nice knowing you for those past two, those past two years. And I know I gotta move forward now. I'm looking forward now to start a new chapter of my life and a new journey. I wanna say I love you, Jess, and I will never forget you. I hope we'll see each other again sometime in time. Goodbye is not a final goodbye, but it's a goodbye for now. Hope to hope we'll see each other again somewhere out in the cosmos somewhere somewhere in time god no rest in peace i love you you're an angel thank you for, for all you had did for me and i'm sorry for the way how i didn't appreciate you goodbye